But Please don't fly over what me. I'm saying is, if, if that happened, then obviously it's too bad, isn't it? Because I legally am allowed to fly my drone over your nick. Right, the thing is, when you're saying too bad, so what you're saying is, basically, I'm not bothered whether someone gets hurt or not. Well, I am bothered, but if well, it well, happens, that... it happens, doesn't it? What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, it's Audit in Yorkshire. I am in a very, very windy Normanton this morning guys. And I have come down to uh, Normanton Police Station. Well I'm actually on my way to Rotherham. Because uh, I've had a lot of a lot of requests and things to to go down there. Because I've not I've not stepped foot in Rotherham yet, I don't think. Anyway, gonna come and check this place out. Now it has been audited before. Uh, public photographers have been here before. I think Marty Blagborough's been here. But to be honest with you, I can't remember the last time it was done. So we're gonna we're gonna have a walk around, see what happens. Uh, Wanting to get the judge up in Sky. It's a bit windy, I guess we'll see how them wind stabilizers hold up on Mini 3 Pro. because uh, 'cause they've got some some decent police vehicles in that yard. They've got some a uh, couple of 90 defenders at Land Rover scene. So yeah. This is side at building. West Yorkshire Police. Can't believe I've not been here before, guys. I didn't realise it was right next to Harry Bow. And uh, I've actually been to Harry Bow. Uh, not too sure how to get into this place. I'm not sure if it's got a front counter, so we're going to have a walk round. And uh, as always, I'll come back to you. So we've just got round to the front, guys. And. Uh, there is a way in down side of some rocks but I'm pretty sure they've got a front counter here I'm hoping they have uh, I'm going to go in and see if they'll let me use the toilet but yeah West Yorkshire Police Normanton we've got the flag flying flying high no Union flag though, which is a shame. It's always nice to see uh, Union flags outside police stations. Some kind of uh, some kind of little dodgy ass drainage system there. So we've got uh, visitors parking. So this is what it's like from side. Yeah. Very nice, custody suite. A visitors parking. And then if we go further down, if we go further down the road, we've got it's staff, staff parking and operational vehicles. So we're up at the barriers now. Now I do believe uh, there's only one way in and one way out of this place. I think this is the entrance bit here. Uh, I think this might be the exit because it's got signs on the other side of the fence. Now when I went around the back, I, I couldn't see any any other gates or signs or anything like that but this is a kind of this is a kind of entrance we like to see at police stations guys um, I mean some places say we'll just have a barrier system where you can literally just walk through it like that uh, but this place has got the gates as well um, I can't remember what you call these there's a name for them and I can't think off the top of my head But there is a police van up, up beyond there. I don't know what I don't know what crack is with that. 
Anyway, we're going to, we're going to go into visit the car park, have a look around customer suite, and then go inside. See what kind of response we get. Right. Yeah, so we've got this is uh, West Yorkshire Police Wakefield Division HQ. Public inquiries costing the custody parking. So, we get some DSLR pictures on the go here, guys. What clean them cells and windows, mate? <laughs> Are you alright? You having a good day, yeah? Well, sun's shining, wind's, wind's reasonable. So, yeah, it's not bad, is it? It's better than snow and sleet and all that stuff. Sorry? I'm happy. As long as you're happy, mate, as long as everyone's happy in what we're doing, that's brilliant stuff. There we go. We are outside. We custody this week. Uh, these these doors are automatic, so we've got a sign there answering bail this way. Good old blue custody door there. The lost the lost core suite apparently. We are we're going to make our way inside now anyway, guys, and then we're going to get the drone up. Right, let's get ourselves in. So the bit where you could have gone through before down there, at, at side of them, at side of that building you could get in through trees, but obviously then when you come down here, it's it's all it's all fenced off. Uh, usual stuff outside, defibrillator, um, yellow phone up wall. We've got a vlogger in the house. Hello. Right, guys, we're back outside. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually go onto the pavement over here, uh, just by this sign, and uh, I'm gonna take the drone up because. I don't, I don't think it matters which way I go around, to be honest. I'm, I'm just going to hit this wind. So I'm just going to take it up and see how, how stable this, uh, this drone is, because it's probably the strongest wind I've took it up in. So we'll see you up in the sky. Right, guys, we are just about to take off into the sky. Now, I'm having to use my Pocket 2 as a, um, for my audio today because like an idiot, I forgot my body cam. So I've got my mic on my pocket too. My windproof mic and we're gonna go up and we're gonna get some drone footage. So this is uh, oh, we're at 30 meters and wind's all right. So let's just go up a little bit higher. That's it. 
keeping visual line of sight. There's a lot of open spaces around here, so uh, when it when it comes to keeping uh, VOS, it's, um, it's 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 fairly easy on this one. Uh, so take it down a bit because that wind's getting a bit. Oh. Bring it down a bit. There it is. Right. It's risky as this, guys. It's risky. Let's just go. Right, we're at 30, 32 metres now. We're going to stay there. We're not going to go any higher. Because, because of the wind. So this this is the car park we came to before, and uh, oh yeah, there is another way in. There is another way in this place. Just there. Don't think you can get to it from main road where I am though. Cars parked on grass here. So there we go. We've got a speed camera van. Bloody hell fire. This wind's really strong today. So we've got a speed camera van and we've got some uh, some of them 90s defenders. In fact I don't even know. They look they look like um they look like Northern Irish police cars, them. God, it's massive is this place. Let's have a look at these, they look like Northern Irish police cars. Look at that. That one does it middle there. It's even got bars going across the window. Now that gate there, just to your right, is where I was before, but I couldn't... I couldn't get down well enough. Uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't lean over well enough to see the vehicles, but that's definitely some kind of... I'm going to see if I can zoom in on that when I get back home and I edit it and stuff. It's It's got all drills across the the windows and it's got all the protective drills and coverings along the um, over lights and stuff as well. That's absolutely bonkers. So it's just a quick look round back. I'm going to bring it back guys. Yeah, I'm going to bring it back because this wind's absolutely nuts. I'm going to get get a couple of aerial shots of that uh, car. And I'm going to bring it back so I'll see you back on the ground. Right, guys, I've come back out of the waiting room now because I would absolutely... I was getting, I was getting so sick of waiting. It run real. Now... If, if you notice, like, obviously we walked past these rocks earlier on, didn't I? And I touched on how there's a fence at the bottom side. Now, what I've done is I've deliberately walked up the road. Uh, instead of sort of, like, squeezing through the gap, there's no in there. Uh, in fence, I've walked up the road because, <clears throat> basically, they've, they've pissed me off something rotten now in this place because I've kept me waiting for so long so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna see what kind of GDPR has been broken so there's a guy there on his computer chair um, there he is he's seen me he's clocked me not what I really I don't really care to be honest it's on there it's on their own isn't it uh, there we go. It's on their honest to to keep everything private and stuff. Look, you didn't again. Well done. Look, we've got stuff written on uh, whiteboards and everything, man. Shut these blinds. You're breaking GDPR, love.
So, police staff. Look, computer's on shore there. I'm gonna let me turn this thing around. Because I've got, there it is, look. There you go. Shoot my blinds. Blinds. <laughs> <laughs> blinds are shut in blinds are shut in I don't know what a bunch of sausages and I've got a feeling there's no in there no I've got a feeling we're going to get some donuts coming out to see us so what we're doing is uh you like right, mate bloody hell he couldn't have jumped up out of that chair any quicker if he tried there we go so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to focus my uh dslr a little bit I'm gonna to have to use that as a body cam if I am approached but yeah look there's not even a lock on this look so you can just open it but that's the gap I we're talking about well I could have hopped up over there um, but then obviously you walk further up the road and we've just got a walkway through. Absolutely bonkers. So what I think I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to wrap this up very shortly. I'm just going to go off camera for a bit until, until I've, got, I've got to walk all the way back round to the other side of the building. And I'm going to take drone back up, but it's literally, it is not going very high at all. I'm literally just high enough to get it over the fence and I'm going to get some some stills of these uh, police vehicles, what we're talking about, what look like riot vans, but they look like Irish riot vans. So that, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll put it in with this video actually, probably just put some music over the top of it, and then all pictures on Instagram as usual guys. Bobbies have come out. You right, lads? Hey, have you come out to talk to me? Yeah, I've took it up. That, by the way, obviously it's on body cam, that's all, so just hear it with <coughs> audio and visual recording. Oh, you're recording me? Yeah. Oh, thanks for letting me know. Uh, do appreciate that, mate, because not many people do. Uh, took drone up from the other side, but, you know, obviously you can you can feel how strong that wind is. Yeah. And they do have good wind stabilisers, these, but not that good so i took it i brought it down and i thought i'll take it back up around the other side before i leave because i really wanted to get a look at that vehicle what's yeah. next at 90. just make sure they don't, they don't come over here because obviously we no it's allowed to that's that's why i've had it just over in there yeah well, so we don't bring it over into the police station it doesn't look right good that's all does it and it's a secure compact. Maybe not to you, mate, but I yeah. am legally allowed yeah. to do it. Right. No, you can film on public premises, in the public, that's not an issue. Yeah. Obviously, this, we're then going into private premises, aren't we? Yeah, but my drone's allowed to. Yeah, well. I'm not. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, keep it that side, because at the end of the day, if it malfunctions, whatever, it lands in one of my offices, then we've potentially got an issue, haven't we? So I'd rather keep it yeah. out of our way. I'm insured anyway, mate, so if that I happened. I, I, I couldn't care less about insurance. What, you don't care less? No, as in, it's about whether it lands on my offices or well, down in our kit. Obviously, insurance what, what doesn't stop someone getting hurt, does it? So well, no, but if, way, so what I'm saying is if, if somebody got hurt, then I'd be insured Yeah, but I'd rather, I'd rather than not, when I say not, not bother about insurance, what I mean is I'd rather they weren't hurt 
you know, they're claiming insurance. Yeah, well, I, I drive a lot as well, yeah, but... so that's why I'm asking you. Just keep it out where, where there's no people knocking about. You know, you risk your life every day when you go out wearing that uniform. So what's, right. so, uh, what's yeah, the problem I, with I, the drone? I, yeah, no, I control those risks. I'm controlling it by asking you not and to... And I'm controlling this because I'm a registered drone pilot, that's so fine. I know what I'm doing. That's fine. But obviously, like you said, strong winds, gusts, right. malfunctions. I'd rather not be flying over us, that was all. But that's if, all I'm asking you as a, as a genuine request. But please don't fly over what us. I'm saying is if, if that happened, then obviously it's too bad, isn't it? Because I legally am allowed to fly my drone over your nick. Right, the thing is, when you're saying too bad, so what you're saying is, basically, I'm not bothered whether someone gets hurt or not. Well, I am bothered, but if well, it happens, well, that, it happens, doesn't it? Well, you say, you say where I'm coming from, though. The only thing I'll say, oh, it's insurance, but I'd rather go home in one piece. Well, so would I, mate. Not get injured. I mean, end so, it so, there. So, so I'm asking you as a civil request. We take risks every day by going out, by stepping outside our front door, by getting in this car, by driving. That's yeah, why yeah, we're we insured do. to drive. Well, we mitigate those risks. In so case that, anything happens. Yeah, so we mitigate those risks. Of course risks, we do. Will I mitigate the risks flying this? Well, I'm asking you to mitigate it by not flying over here where I've got staff knocking about. So I'm not stopping you filming, I just don't be filming over here for safety but reasons. I need you to accept that I can fly my drone over your nick. Because that's what you don't seem to be understanding. Well, I'm asking, uh, have, I, have, I, have I said anything, what I've said is I've asked you not to. Right, well I'll politely so decline then and say well, I will if I want to and I already have done twice. Right, okay, you say, you say you're a registered uh, I am a, dr I'm a registered drone pilot, it? yeah. I, I have got an operator's ID, yeah. Yeah, 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 view it please. Can you view it? <laughs> no. Why not? Well, do you suspect me of committing a crime? So you're, well, you're flying a drone over a public place, aren't you? And? And over people, so I'm asking and? you, have you got a drone I'm registered to you, yeah. Right, and what's your, and so I can check? You don't need to check. Don't I? No, you don't. You do not need to check because I haven't committed a crime. You don't suspect me of committing a crime. I've told you I was taking pictures of that vehicle. Yeah. What looks to me like it's an Irish riot van. No, it's not. I can guarantee it's not. Well, Irish. whether it is or not, it's interesting. I've never seen one before that's in not, this country. That's it. It's, it's that's why I'm looking at it. I'm not an issue. 1913. Country, that's that's your colour number. Yeah. Right, well, I'll be putting a complaint in against you anyway. For what reason? Well, for a, a reasonable conversation because you're asking you not to fly because you're road. requesting to see my operator ID when you've got no suspicion. I've asked, I've asked, I've asked to see it, haven't I? No, you requested. Yeah, I've asked it. You can said, "Can I see it?" I see it? Yeah. So that's a request. Okay, I, I, fine. So I've said no. Right, fine. So do, where's this conversation going to go then? I don't know. Where's it going to go now? Well, in this case, I'm just wondering what you're up to. Obviously, you're, I've asked you politely not to fly over and obviously. Uh, and I won't try the air traffic management app with me, mate, because I'll, I'll run rings right. around you. Okay. Have I, have I actually mentioned it? No. No. So don't I know, don't I mention you, it. I know you're looking to don't go and stuff like that. I'm not looking to go, you. Well, well, you, you when you came up to me, I was going to have a nice conversation well, with you. And then you started getting arsy with me. I haven't been arsy Yeah, you did. You started getting lippy with me. I've straight asked. away. Right, at what point have I been lippy? Other than asking you politely not to play it over here. Yeah, but I will do if I want to. Right. And I, I said, mean, you said I don't care about insurance and I don't care I about know, this and I don't care about... Well, I don't care about you. twisting that No, I don't care about you and I don't care about your staff who are working here. Okay. Is that a crime for me not to care about your well-being? Or their well-being? No. Right, so if I take my drone over, I'll tell you what it is and I'll tell you straight. If I take my drone over and it crashes and it hits somebody and it damages something or somebody, then so be it. I'm insured. I have liability insurance. Hopefully that doesn't happen because I'm not a nasty guy, right? I'm actually, I've got an heart of gold, me. Ask anyone who knows me. Right? But if it happened, it happened. And that's what you need to accept. You cannot stop me flying my drone over this fence. Right. Have I come out and You don't control the airspace. I've asked you politely. That's all I've done. Right, and I politely declined. Right, fair enough. I'll check in a couple of bits. So we, we, we could have had a nice chat then, but you started well, getting lippy, didn't you? No, the only person... I've not been lippy at all, have I? You have been lippy. Hardly. In fact, the only person who's done himself a favour and not said all is your colleague. Fair enough. I'm other than being civil to you, I'm not sure and what it, the issue is. Do, do you know, shit always rolls down, doesn't it, with you lot? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, sergeants. Who yeah, wants to sergeant. be a sergeant in police force, eh? You do. So you can infringe people's human rights. Tyranny at its best. See you later, Muppet. An absolute doylem. Do you think you are coming out, coming out here speaking to me like that? Go and go back inside now, you're dismissed. Go back inside. See you later. Right, all that, right? All I wanted to know was if that vehicle were an Irish riot van. All he had to say was, no. But he starts getting shirty with me, doesn't he? Anyway, guys, he, he did step away. 
and they did say that they were going <laughs> to that they were going to check a few things. He's it's, it's probably just checked to see if his boyfriend's messaged him. Um, so them two were going back inside and there's another guy still down there. Um, I'm going to take a walk anywhere because I've been here for far too long. Uh, I'm going to take a walk and make my way to the next location, guys. So once again, uh, this has been what I think fantastic video. More tyrant cops educated down at Normington, uh, West Yorkshire. Uh, Divisional Police HQ it is, apparently. That's what it says on the sign anyway. So yeah, I'm going to wrap it up, guys. We're going back inside now. So you know what to do, as always. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.